Hey there, PowerPoint users. Listen, I've got a bone to pick with you. It really, really, really grinds my gears when someone puts a beautiful photo in the PowerPoint and then they try to re-squat size it, but then they squeeze it too tight together this way or they squash it too much that way. And then the image is totally distorted. So I've got a tip a trick for you to teach you how to get the perfectly proportioned PowerPoint images every time. Try to say that real fast. Perfectly proportioned PowerPoint images. Okay. So the point is you can make your slides look good because let's face it, when they're disproportioned and all squished and squashed, kind of makes you look like an amateur. And of course we want to have great images, great photos every single time to send a positive message about the brand. So if this is your first time joining my channel, my name is Jay Stone. I am a master brand strategist and I help entrepreneurs build bankable brands. So you're gonna love this video. Go ahead and subscribe, comment, share this out to your friends. Now let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so let's jump into to this and I'm gonna tell you basically how to get rid of all of those distorted images in your PowerPoint. Again, this is one of the ways that shows your brand as unpolished. So I just opened up one of my regular templates here in PowerPoint. And as you can see, it already has an image block here. So when you see this little picture image, if you click that, it's gonna allow you to browse your computer and choose a photo. So I'm just gonna choose a random photo. I don't even know what it looks like, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna hit browse my computer and hit insert and it's there, right? So look, this did exactly what I expected it to do, right? I expected this image to be off, okay? So the challenge that you're gonna have is what most people do is they grab the little handlebars and they do things like this, or they do things like this, right? To try to get it to look correct, and that does not work, okay? And so then your images end up being, again, distorted. So let me show you how to shift this image. So the first thing you want to know, uh, look at is your menu up here, and it's right underneath uh, the orange block. And you'll see where it says like home, insert, draw. So this is your secondary menu. Okay, your primary menu is up here. You wanna look at your secondary menu and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click the picture because when I click the picture, it adds something to the menu. Let me do this again. So here, get, it stops, it goes to transitions, view, acrobat. And then when I select the image, that picture format pops up. Okay, picture format pops up. That's what I want to select because it gives me an entirely new menu. Okay, once that pops up, what I want to select is the crop tool. Now, a lot of people don't know that the crop tool does a lot of different things. Okay, but repositioning your image is the number one thing that I use it for. Okay, so I'm going to select it again. I'm going to go to the picture format. I'm going to click crop. And look, okay, so you see how the outline of the picture is now gray. You can see what's outside of the actual frame. So I'm going to take, you see the four square. I'm going to grab that slide left. And now this image is inside the frame. And then when I select off of it, now I can see that this image has moved. Okay, so that is a great, 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 awesome tool. Okay, I love it. Now, let's just say, let's go to a different slide because we've got the same image here where my picture's in here, it's cut off. If I select and hit picture format, I go to crop, I can actually slide this image over, okay? So that's one thing that the crop image, the crop uh, tool does. Let's look at the next thing that the crop tool does, right? Um, sorry, let's put that back. So if, I, if you go up to the crop tool and you click on the left side, you'll see this little menu. When you click that, it'll give you some other options. So you can crop to shape, which is cropping it to a specific shape. 
uh, you can contain the ratio aspect. So if you want it square, if you want a portrait, if you want it landscape, you can do it so that it crops that way. Um, you can crop it to fill and crop it to fit. So I'm going to click crop to fit, right? Because it's basically going to fit the image inside of whatever that shape was, right? So if I delete it, you get the shape back. Okay, but you can always make the image. This keeps you from trying to resize and distort the image. It can fit right there in that block. It may not look as good, but at least you've got the whole image, especially if there's something in this image that you want other people to see. All right, so let's go back and look at some of the other options in crop. I want to go back to here and crop to shape and I'm just going to choose a circle and that's what it did. It turned it into a circle but guess what it's still a little bit distorted because it was never a circle to begin with. All right but if I click this crop tool again I can move this image right over here and it's not quite a circle it's an oval but you get the point and it now still fits in this section. So I want to make sure that you guys are doing this and it works with all the tools. It works with all the photo types. I'm going to click here. Here's a rectangle. Uh, rectangles are pretty tricky if you've got a portrait picture. So I'm going to choose a portrait image that needs to go into a rectangle. This is where you guys kind of get. All right. So look at this. The picture's portrait. Her chin is cut off. I'm going to go and find the crop tool. And I'm going to drag this image down so you can see her face. Now, what I want to tell people is your best bet is if, if it's a landscape space, try to choose a landscape image. If it's a portrait, which is vertical up and down, then you try to choose a vertical image. But sometimes you just are stuck with the image that you have. And this is a nice way to do it. And of course... It'll take a whole nother video for me to tell you exactly how you would um, just change the layout, okay? But one of the quick things that you can always do is a lot of times when they feel like, when PowerPoint feels like it does, you don't have the best layout, you simply, it'll come up with design ideas. As you see, it keeps popping up over here to the left, to the right. So if I just click this, it'll change the whole layout to give you a better layout. Uh, if it doesn't do it, automatically um <clears throat> you have to go to the design to the design um design ideas right uh when i click design i'm sorry the design menu up here to the top right design ideas pop up and you can turn it off and on sometimes it'll bring it up sometimes it won't if it doesn't really understand the layout it might not bring it up but that is basically how you crop an image. And then if you're looking for a whole page, again, you want to go with something landscape. I'm just going to choose an image. And it fit the whole image on the whole page. And then you can write text on top of this. So again, this is how you crop. This is how you reposition. So <clears throat> let me show you just cropping in the traditional sense. Let's say I want the little girl out of the picture. So I'm going to take, I'm going to click the cropping tool, just regular in the middle. I'm going to take the handlebars. You see how the, the crosshairs, I'm going to grab that and take this over here and actually crop out the image. Uh, I'm going to use, wait till I get the crosshairs. I'm going to drag it down so her head is not cut off. And maybe I want to get it right over to the chair. Okay. And when you're done and you hit enter, Oh, it didn't work. Okay. I click on the left side of this. Sometimes you can hit enter and it'll take, but other times you'll just have to click outside of the crop. So now this was a full page and now I just made it part of the page because I wanted to take something out of the image, take some, some space out of the image so I can write text. So that's basically the cropping and repositioning tool. That's it for me, guys. And I hope you enjoy your time in PowerPoint. Catch you on the flip side.